Hey guys, okay, so I am back making videos. I'm super excited. It's really early. Well, for me, it's early. Seven o'clock in the morning. The birds are chirping and the sun is just getting up and it's cloudy. We're gonna have rain today, but anyway, I'm wearing a pretty pink dress. I think I'll do an outfit of the day with it, so I'll tell you guys that in a later video. Straighten my hair and put a full face of makeup and I'm ready to film videos for you guys. So I'm excited to be back on this channel. Okay, um, let's just get started. So this is going to be a Friday favorites. I'm back to doing those weekly and I'm excited. Okay, so just like always, just going to get right into it. Random as heck. <laughs> okay, so my Lorac Pro Palette. Kind of ignoring it for a while, but I've been giving it some love this week. And today, and most of this week, I've been using the shade, let's see, um, Light Pink from my crease, right there. It's like a pretty pale pink. It's good for highlight. It's good for, looks kind of like a white here, but it's like a pale pastel pink. And then for my outer V and my um, crease, you know, the dark portion, I've been using Deep Purple. It looks kind of like a black uh, when, when you put it as eyeshadow, but it's like a pretty deep purple with a little bit of a sparkle. Like a little bit of shimmer, a little bit like a bronze shimmer, but not really. It looks actually matte when you put it on your crease, so. And then my highlight is the white, which is great for any highlight. Yeah, so I'm using that this week. I don't know, honestly, I'm so over summer, I'm ready for the fall winter. I'll talk about that. Um, by the way, I'm doing like follow me around videos, like vlogs, like throughout the day. So I already filmed part of it before this video. So you'll see like my random thoughts and me doing absolutely nothing around my house every day. So you can, uh, we can have a little a chit chat. Um, it'll be kind of like, you know, like when the gurus do like get ready with me chit chats. It'll be like the chit chat portion, but like on YouTube. Yeah, it'll be like that. It's, it's, it's going to be kind of interesting. Yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll talk about random things like like what's going on, what do you think of what and what, like just random stuff. Anyway, <laughs> but look for that later on this week or like next week. Um but yeah, so I'm a little bit losing my track, but what else is new? So <laughs> Lorac Pro, Pro Palette. Um from a perfume this week, I've been going back to the Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. I'm almost finished finished with this. Um yeah, it just smells really nice. It's a great daytime scent. Now, it's strong. I always put too much of this on. And it, always, it always gives me a headache. So don't put too much of it. Like, one or two squirts. At. Yeah. I swear to God, nothing changes. When I say squirt, I always think dirty. It just never never ceases to fail. Mmm. Yeah. It just smells really good. Really citrusy. Very, like, um, tropical vacation you know, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this video clean, PG-13, so let's just keep it like that. Okay, tropical vacation. I'm gonna try not to stutter this video. We'll see if that happens or not. Um, just randomly picked up this foundation. Well, not picked up, I already had it, but picked it up from my drawer. My draw, my draw or drawer? Do you say drawer or draw? Whatever, my drawer. Ugh. Um, I don't notice any of these things until like I'm on camera and then it's like, what is that? Oh my god, like, oh my god, okay. Lorac Perfection. Perfection? Oh, yeah, foundation. I miss filming for you guys, I really did. I know, every time I post a new picture on Instagram, it's like, oh my god, I miss you filming a video. I felt so bad, I'm like, oh, I want to. And now I am. Okay, um, see, lighting is getting better as the sun gets up, so. Natural light really is the best. It really is. It says this is oil-free, paraben, paraben-free, fragrance-free. Honestly, do we really care? I don't. It's just, it covers what it needs to cover, and it... I'm not wearing it today. I was like, uh, no, I'm not wearing it today. <laughs> I'm a mess, but you know what? I've learned to love it. Okay. Um, yeah, it has SPF, so... Yeah, I just like it. It gives you a dewy finish, if I'm not mistaken. I think it does. <laughs> I'm like the worst girl. I think it's a dewy finish, or maybe not. Maybe it is. I don't really know. Let's move on. It's a good foundation. Um, I'm really just a mess. Okay. 
uh, Lorac, Pe Lorac, <laughs> L'Oreal Paris, by the Lift Miracle Blur. I've been ignoring this too. Wow. Okay. So we're gonna drop things. Okay. So nothing really has changed. I'm hotmess.com.org for real. Um, okay. So to buy a bowl. <laughs> I'm not even gonna edit that out. I'm just gonna keep that in. Okay. Instant skin smoother. So I don't know. I feel like maybe I haven't used it in a few, like a month or so, but like when I squeeze it out of the tube, it just, I don't know. I don't know. It like comes in like clumps and then you have to come like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not really loving this, but, um, and then I, I'm wearing it today and I wore it yesterday and it's been helping with, um, <laughs> I'm like, then why are you putting it in a favorite? <laughs> I don't love this. <laughs> That's so funny. I was thinking about that. I'm like, wow. Okay. This isn't my favorite product, but I've been using this week, and um, I feel like it really is really good at like making a boundary in between your skin and your actual like foundation and concealer. So it does what it needs to do. I just somehow don't like the actual. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> I almost said I don't like the product. I like the product, but I don't like how it comes out in like, in like chunks. Do you have the same experience with that Re Revital Lift? It just comes out in chunks and you have to kind of like smooth it with your hand. I don't know. Like with the baby skin or the next, um, or the next pore filler. It's all soft and nice. I don't know. Another, oh, wow. You guys, you, okay, just bear with me. I'm getting back into this guru mode, okay. I'm gonna put my guru hat on. <laughs> A little crazy right now. Um, my Passport Paris Hilton perfume I've been liking. Honestly, it just smells like any perfume, like any kind of like, it just smells like like every other perfume. Like, I don't wanna say cheap perfume, but <laughs> it smells like a cheap perfume. <laughs> you know, it doesn't smell like a cheap perfume, but it smells like, it just smells like any other perfume, but it smells good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know what? Whatever. Now let's let's do description. That that'll make things better. So let's see. When I smell this, I think about really just I'm hanging out with Paris Hilton, you know? And we're just like going to Kitson in LA and we're shopping and she says, smell my wrist. I'm like, ooh, that smells good. What is that? Passport Paris Betters. Oh, yeah, I've been so obsessed with the simple life. I'm like watching that all the time. Yeah. But what else is new, right? Freaking what else is new? So the foundation I am wearing today and this week mostly is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. Like I've been late to the game with this. I did not even like bother with this until a few months ago. This and my Cap on D, which is, is going to be a part of my July favorites, um, have been my, my obsessions. It's weird because in summer people usually do like light coverage. I've been doing like heavy coverage even in the summer. I'm just like, you know what, YOLO, I don't care. I'm gonna sweat it out because I'm gonna look beat 100% of the time. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. <laughs> ooh, the bed's squeaking. Ew, that's like not attractive, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys, just bear with me, I'm a mess. So yeah. I'm liking this, and I just like how you just literally put like one little um, pump and you're good to go for your whole face. It is thick, but it's good. It's good. <laughs> it sounds so dirty. It's thick, but it's good. <sighs> wow. Okay. I know I missed you too. Uh, the Mega Plush Volume Express. Um, yeah. Honestly, it doesn't do, like, it doesn't know. It's not my favorite right now. My favorite mascara this month, I'm going to talk about it in my July favorites. It's the one by one. But I just wore it today, and I want to put it on in this video. I just, like, you know, I like it. It's good for, like, kind of like a sort of a natural-ish um, one coat, kind of, like, out the door kind of lashes. Um, it's not going to make your lashes look like, look like they're false or anything like that. But it just, it's just a good mascara, and, you know, whatever. You know, I'm wearing it, so I'm going to talk about it is what it friggin' is. Okay, two more products. Um, do you have that feeling like you have to burp but it doesn't come out? Ugh, I hate that feeling, okay. Ugh, okay. 
Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. I feel like I like this better now than my Urban Decay. I feel like the Urban Decay and Sin, you know, the primer potion, I feel like it just, maybe it's old. It's good, like, I put it in my eye and it stays in one area and it gets really, like, annoying. This one spreads really easily across my eyes and, like, my lid and everything, my crease. So I've been liking this um, better than my Urban Decay and Sin. And this is a sample size. It came with the Lorac Pro Palette. I have been liking that a lot. Okay, and then blush... Honestly, I'm in love with all these NYX blushes. I cannot talk about it enough. The Rose Garden NYX blush. It's the beautiful, beautiful baby pink. Oh my god. So pretty. Just absolutely freaking stunning. It looks baby pink here, but it's more like um it's more like a corally medium pink and it has like some golden sparkle, but it looks matte when you put it on your cheek and I'm wearing it today. Am I wearing it today? No, I'm not wearing it today. Wow, okay. <laughs> well, this video was a hot mess, so what else is new, right? Um, okay, so let me do my outro. So, if you haven't already, um, <laughs> I forget, you can't really tell people to do the, you know, the whole, you know. So, okay, I'm gonna skip that part and just tell you guys that if you haven't already, definitely subscribe to this channel. I will love you forever and ever and uh, stick around for a while. So, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I've been posting on Instagram and Twitter a lot lately, especially Twitter. I've been on Twitter almost every day. So sharing random fun things with my best friend. Uh, follow her too if you want. You'll know because she's the one I'm always tagging in all my little stuff that I'm loving. And anyway, yeah, so follow me on Twitter. I'm always on there. Like tons of fun pictures I post about stuff. And follow me, follow me on there. And then Instagram, obviously. I need to get my Instagram followers up because I went down. I know, some of y'all unfollowed me on Instagram. I think I didn't notice. I noticed. Mm -hmm. I was at over 400, now I'm at 381. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. We need to get me back up to over 400 followers. So, on Instagram, so let's do that, okay? <laughs> um, so, Instagram, Twitter, it'll all be below. Follow me on Facebook. Well, like me on Facebook, all that good stuff. All below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, let me know what things you've been loving this week. Um, in the comments below and until next time stay fierce stay fabulous and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye you guys